DIY solar power, ditch the grid and save money. Hey there, sunshine chasers. Ever dreamed of ditching the grid, sticking it to the man, becoming a master of your own destiny, or maybe just saving some cash on that electric bill? We're diving headfirst into the world of DIY solar power. Whether you're a seasoned off-grid warrior or just want to be prepared when the lights go out, building your own solar power setup is easier and more affordable than you might think. So grab your safety squints, slap on some sunscreen, and let's turn those rays into real, usable power. Solar panels soaking up that sweet, sweet sunshine. All right, let's kick things off with the stars of the show, solar panels. These bad boys are the workhorses of your solar setup, capturing all that glorious sunlight and converting it into sweet, sweet electricity. But with so many different types out there, how do you know which ones are right for you? First up, we've got monocrystalline panels. Think of these as the sleek, high-performance sports cars of the solar world. They're super efficient, generating more power from the same amount of sunlight compared to other types. Now these panels are perfect for smaller setups, like if you're trying to squeeze as much power as possible onto your van roof or a tiny house. Next, we have the polycrystalline panels. These are like your trusty pickup truck reliable workhorse panels that won't break the bank. They might not be quite as efficient as their monocrystalline cousins, but they get the job done and are a great option if you're on a tighter budget. For adventurers with curved RV roofs or those who like to keep their power options flexible, we've got flexible solar panels. These can bend and flex to fit on all sorts of surfaces. Remember, choosing the right solar panels is all about your specific needs and budget, but no matter which way you go, you'll be one step closer to energy independence. batteries bottling sunshine for when the lights go out. Okay, so we've got our solar panels soaking up all that sunlight, but what happens when the sun goes down? That's where our trusty sidekicks, the batteries come in. They're like giant energy piggy banks, storing up all that solar goodness for when you need it most. Now, when it comes to batteries for your solar setup, you've got two main contenders, lead acid and lithium iron phosphate, LifePo4. Let's break it down, shall we? First up, we've got the lead acid battery. This is the veteran of the battery world, the one that's been around for ages. It's like that old reliable pickup truck we talked about earlier. It might not be fancy, but it gets the job done. Lead acid batteries are super affordable up front, making them a great option for beginners, but they do have some drawbacks. For starters, they're heavy, like really heavy. They also have a shorter lifespan than other battery types, typically lasting around 3 to 5 years, and you can only use about 50% of their capacity before you risk damaging them. Now on the other side of the ring, we've got the champion of the battery world, lithium iron phosphate, or LifePo4 for short. This is the Tesla of batteries, the one that's changing the game. LifePo4 batteries are lighter, much lighter than their lead acid counterparts. And get this, they can last for 10 plus years. Plus you can use almost all of their capacity, around 80 to 100% without any issues. Now I know what you're thinking. Mark, these sound amazing, but they've got to be expensive, right? And yeah, you're right, LifePo4 batteries do cost more up front, but they last so much longer and perform so much better that they actually pay for themselves over time. Chapter 3. Charge Controllers and Inverters, the brains and brawn of your solar setup. Alright so we've got our solar panels soaking up the sun and our batteries ready to store all that juicy energy. But hold on a minute, we can't just go plugging everything willy-nilly. We need some important go-betweens to make sure everything plays nice together, and that's where charge controllers and inverters come in. Think of the charge controller as the wise old sage of your solar setup. It sits between your solar panels and your batteries making sure the batteries are charged safely and efficiently. You see, solar panels can be a little overzealous sometimes, especially when they're basking in the midday sun. They'll keep pumping power into your batteries even if they're already full. And trust me, you don't want to overcharge your batteries. That's where the charge controller comes in, regulating the flow of electricity and making sure your batteries are charged just right. Now when it comes to charge controllers, there are a few different types, but the one you really want is called an MPPT, or Maximum Power Point Tracking Controller. MPPT controllers are super efficient, squeezing every last drop of power from your solar panels. They're a little pricier than other types of charge controllers, but trust me, they're worth every penny. Next up, we've got the inverter. This bad boy takes the direct current, DC electricity generated by your solar panels and batteries, and transforms it into alternating current, AC, which is what most of our household appliances and gadgets run on. 
Chapter 4. Portable Solar Power, Freedom on the Open Road and in Your Backyard. Alright van lifers, arvers, campers and outdoor enthusiasts, this chapter's for you. Let's talk about portable solar power, the ultimate way to stay juiced up and connected no matter where your adventures take you. First up we've got foldable solar suitcases. These are like the Swiss Army knives of solar power, compact, portable and ready to go at a moment's notice. Just unfold them, point them towards the sun, and boom! You've got power for your phone, laptop, lights, and maybe even a small fridge. They're perfect for weekend camping trips, music festivals, or even just as a backup power source for your home. Next, we've got roof-mounted panels for RVs and vans. These are a more permanent solution for those who live the hash van life full-time. They're sleek, aerodynamic, and can generate a surprising amount of power. And for those who want a super easy, plug-and-play solution, we've got portable power stations. These all-in-one units combine a battery, an inverter, and sometimes even a charge controller into one compact package. Brands like EcoFlow and Jackery make some fantastic portable power stations that are perfect for beginners. Portable solar power gives you the freedom to explore off the beaten path, to work remotely from anywhere, or just to be prepared for whatever Mother Nature throws your way. Chapter 5. You've got the power, tips and tricks to get you started. So, you're fired up and ready to dive headfirst into the world of solar power? Awesome! But before you go ordering a truckload of solar panels and batteries, let's talk about a few final tips and tricks to set you up for success. First things first, don't let this whole thing overwhelm you. I know it can seem a little daunting at first, especially with all the different components and technical jargon. But remember, you don't have to do everything at once. Start small, get comfortable, and then scale up as you learn and gain confidence. Think about your energy needs. What do you absolutely need to power? Your phone, laptop, lights? Start with a small system that can handle those essentials, and then you can always add more panels and batteries later on. Next, do your research. There are tons of amazing resources available online, from forums to YouTube channels, wink, wink, to websites dedicated to all things solar. Take some time to learn the basics, compare different products, and don't be afraid to ask questions. The solar community is incredibly welcoming and always happy to help out newbies. Solar power isn't just about saving money or being eco-friendly, although those are fantastic perks. It's about freedom. Freedom from rising energy costs, freedom from unreliable grids, and the freedom to live, work, and explore on your own terms. Well folks, there you have it. Everything you need to know to start harnessing the power of the sun and embark on your own DIY solar adventure. Remember, it's not just about saving a few bucks on your energy bill, it's about taking control of your energy future, reducing your impact on the planet, and embracing a more sustainable way of life. What's the first thing you'd power with your very own solar setup? Let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more epic DIY projects, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on the fun.